Hey folks, welcome back to what I think is Mission 10 of Chapter 2. Um, I did some look on my character, so it's kind of interesting. Oh, before anything, we are to Jello Alert Level 0. So Arthur is evidently underweight, so I'm going to need to eat some. The temperature is fair, it means he's doing pretty good. His honor is seems like it's back up to normal. So it's a plus 0%, so it means I'm not getting charged over or under. So temperature is fair. Nothing else really revealed. Um, so I was looking at that. But while I, I, I shaved, if you can tell, I shaved up. I need to buy some clothes. I think we're going to go buy some clothes today, too. But what I did find... Okay, where is it? <clears throat> where is my journal? Like, my journal should be somewhere. And I can never figure out how to, how to get to my journal. Oh, wait. I think I can get to my journal this way. I think I was there, kind of, wasn't I? No, I need to go to the story. I need to go to the story. And you're stuck listening to this because that's how I roll. Oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh, progress? Story? I'm only 13% of the way through. That's kind of interesting. Okay, I will figure out how to get into my journal. I figured it out once, and I cannot believe that I cannot figure it out now. That's kind of weird. Okay, left, right. Nothing. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I knew it was somewhere in here. So let's go to journal. It's a collection of books. I don't need those. Wait, wait. Not my. Where's my journal? I. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. Because we missed some journal time here. So we met and read Emmett. Um, okay, let's read. Snuck in night, we robbed the loathsome bastards blind. Oh, that must be for the, the thing we just did. We just did. What's gang savings? I'm not even... Oh, that's what we got saved up. Okay. I'm not even sure what's going on there. But what I do need to do is since I can... Oh, can we please get into the satchel? I mean, dear Lord, I need to eat some food. And you know what? I might as well. Might as well because I'm underweight. Let's gain a little bit of weight. Uh... Ooh, let's eat a minty pork. Just one. Wait, why, why are these full? Oh, it's for the horses. Why? <laughs> that would be why. Um, can peas... See. Cook mature venison. Eat. Um, I think... The last thing we do, and I'll be back. I'm gonna go cook up. Gonna go cook up my food that I have, so I can. Well, maybe not. Maybe we're not. We ate a little bit. That that is enough to eat. Let's go to the map. Where's the next mission gonna be at? No map. I'm having a day. It is an early morning. Not a bad thing. Just oh, rough morning. All right. So we got Mick and Micah Bell. Oh, I gotta get him out of jail in Strawberry, right? Or Javier. Okay. Let's go get Mike. I got to rescue two sets of people. This is going to suck. We're going to have to leave. Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What is this? Oh, Mary. So, oh, this, this, let's, let's back out. Before we do anything, I did forget to tell you this. We did get one letter that popped up. Let's see. Letter from Mary. And we, oh, you're not going to read it. It had a voice. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and cannot get it right. It's me. You know, it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said the last we spoke, I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I am not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple months. I had some bad luck, and well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell the man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. So we're going to have to go visit my ex-girlfriend. It's drama time. You know you love drama. That's why you watch my show, because I... Evidently do the drama games. That's what I like. Oh, there she is. There she is. All right. 
Come on. Come on. There we go. We're going to go. Oh, she's going to have me do something for her. And it's not going to be to get back with her. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. I cared for her once, so I'll take care of her. So I will see you folks soon. Okay, I got a bounty in Valentine. We're going to see if I can get past it. Watch where you're going, asshole. Sorry, bud. Let's see if I can wander through town, folks. We're going to see how this works. All right, here we go, folks. We're arriving at Mary's house. It is but a lot of play just to get this far. Um, let's find some place to tie up my baby here. Oh, I guess it has to be officially a hitching post. It can't just be... It can't just be a like a fence you can tie to. That's kind of a shame. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? Collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. Uh, no. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's um. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Oh, my God, I'll help. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. All right, we're getting close. We're way up in the mountains. Way up in the mountains. And I gotta spin it around up here and find out where her brother Jamie is. Chelonia, Chelonia. And what is Chelonianism? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety, shell of safety, shell 
Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Gotta speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase! Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. <laughs> I love them too. Turtles! Um. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Oh god, I'm gonna die so horribly. My horse does not corner well. She's a big girl. Ah! Just stop and let's talk about this! You pop up out of nowhere? Yeah. Come on, Jamie, your sister's worried about you. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Oh, 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 oh. You little jackass. Sorry, mister. So what are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! God. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Jesus Christ, really? Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I found something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! <laughs> leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! There we go. Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Right, we're gonna slip around here so I can tie him up because I think there's a place to tie him up out back. Or maybe not. We going in then? All right, let's come on in, bud. Let's go get her. Yeah, I'm looking kind of stylish today. Are you coming? Jamie, Jesus, man. Hold your arm and come on in. What? Make it quick or I might run off again. Jamie! Jamie! Come home. Please, you've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Uh, you're welcome, I guess. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. 
I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Kind of like this outfit, though. I still think it's pretty good. We loved and once and true. There we go. So, folks, we're going to wrap it up here. I will see you next time, and until then, take care.